Good morning, everyone. It's 2.49 a.m. Eastern T Standard Time, and it is 9-11-2013. I wanted to give you just a quick thing here. Uh, this NASA releases Fireball video, and I wanted to show it to you. Um, so we'll just play it right quick. I'll do it one more time if I can. See it come down at the bottom of the screen there. Okay. Um, anyway, I guess it's it's raised a lot of talk on Twitter from what this says. But anyway, it says following bright lights and loud being seen and heard south of Birmingham and across Alabama last night. NASA officials in Huntsville confirmed that a bright meteor did indeed pass, usually close to the Earth's surface. The meteor appeared at 8.18 p.m. local time and entered the atmosphere at 76,000 miles per hour, said Bill Cook, head of meteor Meteoroid Environment's office at Marshall Space Flight. And as you can see, here are pictures, which shows, shows it as it passes by and comes in. And it was a meteor, a fireball, and a very bright one, said Cook. We tracked it down to the altitude of 25 miles, which is very low for a meteor, he said. Twitter lit up like a fireball, mentions throughout. Birmingham and Cook said that was the right term to use to describe a meteor like this. A fireball is a bright meteor, <coughs> excuse me, a meteor brighter than the planet Venus. This one looks like it was as bright as the moon was tonight. The fireball seen Monday night was 15 times brighter than Venus, Cook said. At such high speeds, Cook said the fragile commentary material will not last long, only about three seconds after hitting the atmosphere. The meteor disintegrated 25 miles above the town of Woodstock. Because the meteor penetrated so deep into Earth's atmosphere, sonic booms were produced, which some witnesses reported hearing. Although the meteor made quite an impact on those who witnessed it firsthand, Cook said there was actually no large it was actually no larger than a bowling ball. Further analysis will be done to determine the meteor's actual size. NASA cameras caught the events are located at Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, the James Smith Planetarium near Chickawawa, Georgia, the Tele Science Museum in Cartersville, Georgia, and the North Georgia College Observatory near Dehonga, Georgia. And then it just shows some of the chatter that people were putting putting out. So anyway, I'll leave that with you and I'll leave you the link and I hope you guys are have a great day today. Just thought you might like to see the video of it. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.